Good morning, friends. I'm excited to do another workout with you this week. Um, all you need today is um, a soft floor or a mat. We will be on the floor some. Other than that, we're just using our, um, our bodies um, and leveraging our own body weight to get this workout in today. This is going to be a high intensity interval workout. Um, so um, we'll be using, I'll be using my watch a lot to time. We won't be going for reps, but rather for time. Um, let's go ahead and just get started. I'm going to get my timer started. We're going to start with 60 seconds of body weight squats. Just getting everything warmed up and moving this morning. I opened my garage to let some sunlight in and it was so bright. Actually, still pretty bright, and it's reflecting off of one of our cars in the driveway. Right in my eye as I come down in the bottom of the squat. You should be engaging your core here, pushing your weight back into your heels, but your toes are still flat on the floor. Taking that squat just as deep as your mobility allows. And since it is still maybe kind of early in the morning for some of you, you might find your mobility improves as this minute progresses. There we go, that's one minute. Nice job, we're gonna go from there to a walkout. So just hands right at your waist, feel that stretch. Knees are not locked, reach down to the floor and walk it forward. Grab a push up right here and walk it back up. I'm just gonna walk over and make sure that this is actually recording. I just had a little, yep, it is. Welcome everybody. I just had a little fear there. Reach up to the sky, let's get another good walk out here. You want to grab a push up, you can drop to your knees for this if you need to. We're just warming everything up, engaging our core, engaging arms, shoulders, chest. Stretch those legs there. Reach again. Let's come down again. Again for this push up. You're not getting much depth from your toes. Drop to your knees to get that push up. And reach. Let's get one more. Stretch. Feel that posterior chain. Get a good stretch as you come out here. Grab that push up. And then we're going to stay down here in this plank position. Go ahead and bring your left leg forward. And we're going to keep your right arm planted where it is. Reach up. Get some spinal rotation there. And then we're going to switch sides. Other leg comes forward. Keep your left hand planted and reach. Feeling that good stretch through your thoracic spine. Now let's do that again on the other side. That low lunge. If you need to drop your knee here, go ahead and reach. Feel that good stretch. Back down. Other leg forward, left hand stays planted. If you want to drop that knee, you can. And reach. All right, we're feeling warm, I hope so. Because we're going to go ahead and start first round. Four movements. Each one we will be doing for 20 seconds with a 10 second break for four reps. And then we're going to do all that twice. So adding up the time, we're looking at 16 minutes, not counting kind of our explanation breaks for this first round. All right, first thing we're going to be doing here get my timer reset, is a squat and then a jump squat. Now, if jumping is not for you, 
I want you to come up and uh, get a calf raise there. So it will be a squat, squat calf raise or squat jump. 20 seconds, 10 second break and we're gonna go straight through two minutes just like that. Ready team? Let's do it. Squat, squat jump or calf raise, squat, squat jump. Soft landing right back into that next squat. And that's time, 20 seconds. I'm gonna lose my jacket and then 10 second break quickly. All right, get ready. Next round here, go. Squat, jump squat, or calf raise. Squat, jump squat. All right, that's another 20 seconds, 10 second break here. Halfway through this first set of this squat, jump squat combo. Let's do it. You can do anything for 20 seconds. It's the beauty of hit. It doesn't have to be really long for you to have a good benefit. All right, that's another 20. Shake it out. We have one more here before we move on to our next movement. And let's do it. Soft landings. Right back to that next squat. Don't put your brakes on. All right, good job. Next thing we're doing, I'm gonna stop my watch for just a second. We're doing a plank up down to a plank to a push up. So you will go down and up, lean with your right, down and up, lean with your left, and then do a push up. All of this can be done from your knees, just make sure you are still engaging your core here. All right, first 20 seconds. Up, down, up, down, and push up is our movement here. We're starting in three, two, one. Down, 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 and push up. Three, two, one. Check that out. Next one's starting here in just a couple. And three, two, one. You can do this. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, and push up. And that is time, team. Halfway through these for this round. <clears throat> Remember, if your shoulders are really starting to scream at you, going down to your knees here. You can do these just like this. Just make sure you're still engaging your core. You should feel glutes engaged as part of that. All right, that's another 20 seconds down. We got one more 20 second push here for this movement. All right, 20 seconds on the clock. That 10 seconds goes by fast. But so does the 20, three, two, and one. Shake it out, great job. We're standing up here for our next movement. We're doing speed skaters. 
And you can do these with very levels of intensity. A jump with that contra floor touch, or you can do more of a step, a little less impact. 20 seconds is on our clocks, and we're starting right here. done speed skating. This is the closest I've ever gotten because nothing about my ice skating is speed. All right, that's time to you. I think I would enjoy it if I took the time to learn. Three, two, and let's go. I like to imagine I'm speed skating when I do things. Oh, that's 20 seconds. Snuck up on me. One more here, team. Last 20 seconds of this. You're doing so great. Keep this up wherever this movement works for you. Keep it happening. Three, two, one. All right. One more movement of this round here. These are called triceps press ups. If you've ever taken a class from me, other than maybe cycle in my um, tra uh, weight training classes, hit classes, you may have done these. They're one of my favorites. And then recently in a Instagram video, so you're gonna have your hands slightly in front of your shoulders here. And um, if you've never done this, start on your knees um, just to get the motion down. And then if you can come up to your toes, and that's great for this plank. You're going to go ahead and go down to your forearms and then press through the heel of your hands to raise up. This is a tricep isolating movement, not using your chest. It's not a tricep push-up, but a press-up. And we're going to do these for 20 seconds. It'll feel kind of long, even though it's 20 seconds is short. If you start really feeling tired, just hold that plank. All right. Starting in three, two, and one. Pressing through the heel of your hand. So you find one arm is trailing the other one. Really focus on that trailing arm. This is the one movement my left side likes to actually be stronger on than my right. Oh, that's 20 seconds. It went kind of fast. All right, next one's coming up quick here. Three, two, one, go. Now a variation of this movement, I'm gonna show you on the next one. You can keep doing these, or you can try this variation, which is a scissor up. I'm gonna face you so you can see a little better, possibly what this looks like. All right, 20 seconds has started. You're going down and up like this for the scissor up. Just a little different angle on the triceps. These are a little harder, I think, for me anyway. Three, two, one. Nice job, let's check that out. 
So if you haven't tried, go ahead and get those scissor ups a try. Last 20 seconds right here. And up. You want to switch which arm is in front. That can change your load just slightly. Three, two, and one. Great job. I'm going to stop my watch. Grab a little drink. Give us about 30 seconds here. We're going back through those four movements. Same way you just did, only maybe this time you'll feel a little more confident. Your body's going to be more accustomed to the movement. All right, team. Squat to jump squat or calf raise. And first 20 seconds in three, two, and one. Squat and jump. Squat and jump. Again, just 20 seconds each time. A little break. And after. Three, two, and one. You're doing awesome. I was really excited for this workout. So I think it's going to be challenging, but very doable, which is the best kind. Let's do this. Squat and up. I don't know about you, but my workouts have been key to my mental health these last few weeks. And that's another 20 seconds down. So grateful. Back into this gratitude stuff, but so grateful for the ability to work out. Grateful for everyone who's putting information out there. I'm benefiting, my family's benefiting from these workouts people are posting, giving us ideas for variety and instruction. Oops, that was 20 seconds, I gotta kind of stop talking. <laughs> All right, last 20 seconds here. Get a nice, Jump out of a jump squat. Make it count. And that, my friends, is time on those. Right, we're going back to our plank up down with that push up. Up down with each arm, and then a push up. I'm gonna reset my timer, 20 seconds. Plank up, down, plus push up. Starts right here. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. And a push up. Down, up, up. And that is time. Come on up, check it out. Remember, you can do these from your knees. You can just hold a plank if you start feeling like you're not gonna be able to get through them. Up, up. And that's another 20 seconds, team. Rocking this. All right, let's get our next 20 seconds in right here. Focus on that solid plank, the engaged core. Getting good depth out of that push up. Oh, that's time again. And one more team. Coming up in three, two, 
and go. Almost there. You can do this. And that, my friends, is time. Time for speed skaters. Let's go ahead and get them started. Three, two, and go. Three, two, and that's time. Pick that out. 10 second break. And let's hit it. Three, two, one. I think my mat has moved a little bit. All right, next round here, and let's go. I'm breathing, how are you? Three, two, one, we got one more. And let's go. Speed around those turns. Looking where you want to go. This is a good movement for your hips, those glute medius. That's time. Nice job. Going back down to those tricep press ups. Remember, this is not a push up. Hands are in front of you just slightly. Down your forearms, push into the heel of your hands, engage your core as you press up. Starting here, 20 seconds. Three, two, and go. Down and up. I'm going to switch every other 20 seconds with a scissor up. I invite you to do the same. The scissor up to really target. That's time right there. This beautiful part of our triceps that we have a hard time sometimes firming up. You can't spot reduce, but you can spot build. Scissor ups right here. Three, two, and one. Great job, shake that out. Going back to palms in front. Press ups and go. You can kind of use your toes to propel that forward. It's a good way to kind of cheat into the plank version of this rather than being on your knees. Okay, shake that out. We got one more. I'm going for another set of those scissor ups. And go. 20 seconds. You can do anything for 20. Three, two, and done, team. Nice job. All right, first round is over. Woo! We, I'm distracted, we have an Amazon 
package being delivered right now to our door. All right, we're moving on to our next round of work. We're starting with constant tension kneel downs. So you're gonna come right here in this kind of tension um, part of your squat. You're gonna kneel down and kneel up. You're gonna lead with the same leg for the first 20 seconds, and then lead with the other leg for the next 20, switching off each time. Now, if kneeling down like that is not for you, I'm gonna have you hold this and just do some little taps here for 20 seconds, keeping that tension. All right, team. In this round, again, we have four movements. We'll go through them the same way. Four sets of each, two times through for 20 seconds each. All right, constant tension kneel downs. And let's do this, team. Staying low, you're not coming all the way up here, putting your weight into your heel as you stand. All right, take a little break. I'm gonna break right here on my knees. And I'm gonna lead with my left on this next set and 20 seconds has begun. Staying low. Pushing into that heel to stand. You're gonna feel your quads no matter what. The more you can put weight in that heel for the stand, the more you're gonna give your quads some support with your glutes. All right, that's another 20 down. Going back to my right leg. Ready and go. Leading with that right. Step into my heel, staying low. Three, two, and one. Shaking that out. Left side, last side here for this set, and go. Three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, our next movement is a back um, movement. Backs are, can be kind of difficult to, uh, to work without some kind of tool, like a band or cable. Um, but your back or your pull muscles and so, I mean, if you, if you have a way to even taking, I've seen some people take like a bed sheet tied around something and pull so that your back doesn't get neglected. Your back, when you need those back muscles to be strong to balance out all the push-ups and everything you're doing. So this next movement is going to be working our glutes, hamstrings, and our back without um, use of any extra tools. You're going to be here. See my legs are up. I'm gonna kind of put a little squeeze here in my glutes. I'm reaching in front of me and I'm gonna reach behind one arm at a time. I call that this the swimmer, even though you don't really swim like this because your legs don't do this, but you have to put your arms are doing. So that back extension with the swimmer. All right, 20 seconds starts in three. Two, and one, squeeze those glutes, reach out in front, and come back for a little butt tap. Pull, pull, pull. Feel your back working. Three, two, and one. All right, time to rest <laughs> for 10 seconds. And three, two, don't stay resting. Come on up, I know it feels good. And reach, and reach. Reach, reach. 
it just feels so good working those lats and traps and that's time this is an easy rest position <laughs> oh but doesn't last very long all right get that back extension and reach pull 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 I feel like I'm verb into a swim meet is what you hear during the breaststroke pull pull all right and rest last 20 seconds find that extension engage your glutes knees off the floor reach reach now you would not want to do this from a superman position just having those legs bent take some of that tension out of your lower back three two one so your hamstrings take a little more of it nice job on those all right we're going back to a lower body movement this is going to be a broad jump with a jack back or a um more of like a yeah i guess kind of a jack back so Actually, maybe I'll jump to you. That'll be fun. So I'm gonna jump, we're gonna jump, I'm gonna jump forward. And then I'm gonna do a little jacks going back for the 20 seconds. Now, if jumping is not for you, I'm gonna recommend that you do a nice big low lunge throughout. All right. 20 seconds, jump forward or lunge forward and jack it back five more seconds here let's get one more rep three two one check it out we got three more just like that all right ten seconds is up You guys can see I have bikes hanging in my garage. I'm a little concerned. I might get my head out. I never have. I've done it here before. And that is time, team. 10 seconds. And let's do it. Come forward, jack back. Or remember, you can do that lunge forward. Nice and low, and then bring it back. And that's time. One more. Doing so well, team. Three, two, and go. So you're on your forearm here, getting a nice extension, engaging, pulling up, and then you're going to turn to your other side. And we're doing those for 20 seconds at a time, starting in three, two, and one. Take your time here. You're gonna have a, one of your legs come back. You give yourself a little wider base. Then that is perfectly fine. Oh, that's time. Got a little bone 
on those. All right, next one in three, two, and go. Just feel that oblique engagement right here throughout these. Three, two, and one. Two down, two to go. Then we're gonna go back through the last four movements that look just the same. All right, let's do this, 20 seconds. And that's time. One more here. Three, two, let's hit it. Or we can do that offset stance. And team, nice job. All right, grab a drink. We're gonna go back through those four movements, beginning with constant tension kneel downs. As a reminder, kneeling is not for you. Just find a, a tension squat you can hold. I don't care how deep it is so that you feel that engagement here, 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 with a little tap for 20 seconds at a time. All right, first set, kneel downs or those squat taps right here, leading with the same leg throughout the first 20 seconds. Pushing into this heel, stand, come back, push. All right, that's the first one done. Three, two, and next side. Think about your core being engaged here, pushing into that heel to stand up. Three, two, and one. I just rest wherever I end. <laughs> Standing, kneeling. All right, back to that first side and go. Three, two, one. I have to say, this time we have been in, um, it's reminded me, I've gone back to, right, here we go, and start. I've gone back to um, something I read that I actually posted about um, personal victories and um, replacing kind of the search for that personal best with instead seeking out personal victories. Three, two, one, nice work. Going right, right back to those back extensions here. Right here, reach out and go. And I've tried to reflect every day on what my personal victories have been through this. They don't have to be big. Three, two, one. But it's good to recognize them. I think right now our um, emotional and mental health really needs us to keep a positive outlook. All right, let's do this team. Reach. So I started making kind of a list, and um, they're very small things, maybe to some people, but. 
they were victories for me. Three, two, and one. One, honestly, was doing my first uh, Facebook Live video. I was super nervous. All right, let's do this. Next one here, team. I shouldn't have gotten up. One, two, keep pulling. Pull, pull. But picturing all of my clients, who are really all my friends and family. Three, two, one. We have one more of these. Um, it really helped. And um, I was less nervous about today. All right, let's do this, team. And also seeing my um, co-workers, who are also making these videos helped so much. Three, two, one. Nice work, done with those, team. Right, we're back to broad jumps with that jack back. Or you can do that low lunge forward and alternate sides. All right, here we go. Kind of jump forward and up, so I have my head on the bike. I really can't jump that high, so I shouldn't be worried. And go. Team. I'm excited. We are moving through this workout like rock stars. And let's do it. Three, two, one. Ten second break. Two more 20 seconds on these and go. Remember that offset stance can help with your balance here. Feel those obliques engage, driving that hip up each time. 
All right, take another break. One more. Three, two, last 20 seconds. So proud of you. Three quarters of the way through this workout. And time, grab a drink. Now let's we'll talk about what our last round is gonna look like. Each movement, we're gonna keep it for two minutes. Don't freak out, two minutes is short also. These can be very controlled movements, not quick but because your body weight, your heart rate will still um, go up, you'll still sweat, you'll still have to control your breathing, but there will be slow and controlled movements. The first one looks like this. You're gonna be in a bear position. You're gonna walk, step out into a plank, do a shoulder tap, return to the bear, come forward into a plank and do a push-up and return to the bear. You're gonna do that sequence. I'll be here to talk it out with you for the duration of the movement. If you need to drop to your knees for the push-up, please do. If you need to take a break at any time, just go into this down dog. Let things stretch out and then you can pick it back up. So let's just go to that point. First round, two minutes here. Then we'll get a good break as I uh, demonstrate what our um, next movement will be. All right, start into this bear position. Two minutes starts right here. Bear, step out, plank. Step in, bear, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, step out, push up, and return to bear. Plank, bear. Tap, tap, forward plank, push up, bear. Um, tap, tap, bear, forward, push up, back. an awesome team. We're halfway through. Remember, you can take a break in that down dog. So we can drop to your knees for your push-up if you need to. Awesome job here. Thirty seconds left. Bear, bear, tap, tap, plank, push up, bear. Almost there, team. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna stand up for our final movement. Now this is our final set. We're gonna go do that one more time and we'll do a second round of this. Then you're done, then we're cooling down and stretching. This is slow and controlled lunge here. So we're gonna go back, slow, forward, Slow, staying on one side for the first minute, switching sides for the next minute. So decide which leg you want to start on, they're both going to get tired, almost doesn't matter. I'm going to start with my left plantar so you can see this movement. Slow and control, this is not about speed. Slow, slow, slow it down and 
control, slow motion lunges. I find sometimes putting my arms in the mix can help me with the balance here. Now, if you need to modify this, tap in the middle. Get that little tap just like this, slow, bring it back and tap. And tap. But if you can do it without a tap, that's where you should be. Lift, set, lift, set, and switch, no break. Other side. If you find yourself a little wobbly, that's okay. That is your engagement of those balance, stability, muscles, woo! Slow and controlled. Halfway through this side. No, oh, just kidding. That was it. <laughs> One minute per side. All right. Nice job. Grab a drink. You know what's coming. One more round of the bear plank combo for two minutes. One more round of those slow front back lunges. And then, my friends, you will be victorious. I played a song that Facebook would kick us off for rights. So you can play this song yourself after. All right. Two minutes. Find that bear. Remember, your rest position is not here. Your rest position is here. All right, team. Trying to keep engagement. When you're just kneeling here, you're less likely to have to be engaging much. All right, bear position, get those knees off the floor. Two minutes starts right here. Stretch it out into a plank, bring it forward, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, forward for push-ups, or a push-up, and back. Stretch it out, back. Keep those knees nice and low. Chase that plank down, team. Find it, keep it. rocking this. Keep it up. Don't quit. You can do this. Mind over matter here. Thirty seconds left. I'm feeling my shoulders. How about you? 10 seconds. Don't stop yet. All the way through the finish. Three, two, 
in one. Great job. Shake it out. A little break. We're going to start those control lunges. We have two minutes left, team. You can do this. Final two minutes. I'm sweating, and I think it's like 40 degrees in this garage, so maybe it's hotter with me. The body heat I'm emitting. All right, here we go. One minute. I'm gonna turn my right side, switch it up this time. With my planted leg, slow and controlled. Lift and set. And lift and set. You do these the best you can, but don't stop moving. If you need to have that tap in the middle, slow and controlled. 10 more seconds on this side. And switch, team. Finish line is in sight. Stretching is going to feel so good. Control, control, 20 seconds remain. And five, four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! Nice work. So proud of you. Proud of me. We did it. Let's cool it down here, team. Reach up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And reach down. This was an hour workout team. My timer just told me. You did this. You rocked it. All right, I'm not really talking through these stretches. Hang down. All right, team. Reach up. Let's get those obliques. And the other side. I don't know if Facebook has a limit on how long these live videos can be. I hope they're, they don't cut you off if it had an hour. I wouldn't know right now. All right, let's bring that hip flexor forward. Reach up. Deep breaths. And let's get the other side. What other personal victories are you going to have today? Maybe it's something you haven't done with your children for a while that you're going to get to do. Maybe you're going to pick up that hobby you haven't given much attention to in a while. For me, that was sewing. I also made some masks. I made my daughter a shirt out of some old curtains. Very uh, Sound of Music of Us. <laughs> and then we watched The Sound of Music. So she got to see uh, the, uh, where it came from. <laughs> oh, and let's get this child position. Getting those shoulder, that front 
side of your shoulders, your chest as you walk over. And make sure you're breathing here. All right, team, keep stretching. And thank you for joining me this morning. So happy to be able to do this. I miss all of you. And uh, if you have any questions about any um, workout related anything, um, please reach out. I definitely need to keep my, uh, my mind moving. So have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you back at the gym soon.